Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Anna, or Bunny, and today I, well not today, I did this like two months ago. I'm a bus, baby, they can dance. Excuse me, that was my timer. Uh, I decided to do a very interesting little project. Uh, <laughs> no, for real. Um... This is a project that I decided to do like two months ago where I w went into Discord to a couple servers and I was like, Hey, who wants me to draw their OC for a YouTube video? And like two people responded because uh, the servers were pretty crowded. So yeah, two people responded and here we are today. So the first one that I'm drawing that is on screen right now, with, uh, we're doing the line art, I believe. Uh, so... Uh, this is uh, a girl, she's 13 years old, like the girl who sent me the OC, and she told me. Uh, description, her name is Chiho, I based her off of my real life personality, which is, well, I'm overly happy and extra bubbly. She can get perverted, as a joke of course, she loves oranges because it's a calming fruit for us, she's Japanese. Uh, and her hair is short, which is based off of her real life hair but with lots of hair creams. I don't know what that means, I suppose like hair product. Uh, when she gets scared, I like to draw her as a little chubby chicken. Uh, so yeah, apparently she becomes a chicken when she gets scared. Um, she's uh, like 5'1". That's what she told me. Um, but yeah, uh, I thought this character was pretty cute. Uh, I actually became like good friends with the girl. She's like really nice. Uh, right now I'm doing some blushing of the skin. And oh, sorry it took so much time to upload you guys. I've been busy. I had like exam season and then I like like rested and then it was exam season again like super quick and I didn't have any time to edit anything. So right now I'm sitting down as I postpone my homework to do this. <laughs> um, so when I uploaded the last video, I had 34 subscribers. And today, as of today, which is April 15, 2018, I have about, hold on, let me uh, go to my YouTube app. Uh, here we go. I have exactly 95 subscribers. My last video so got so many nice comments, got so many likes. Everyone was super nice telling me, where are your, all your subscribers? YouTube m must have made a mistake, you deserve so many more subscribers and I legit cried because I'm a little bitch. Not just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry if you don't like swearing. I legit cried because... Um, I've always been kind of low-key with my art, and to have so many people like recognize it and be like, you're so good and stuff, it really made me feel better. I know I still have like a lot to cover, like, I still need to get a lot better, but I think it like it made me feel very nice. So thank you all, thank all of you new guys for that. So, um, right now I'm painting her top, uh... She had a really pretty top in the picture, which was like this flowery top. But since the picture was like a pencil drawn uh, picture, I couldn't really uh, decipher what the colors were. I tried asking the girl, but she was like, oh, whatever you want. So I was like, okay, <laughs> I don't want to be stuck with this responsibility. So I just uh, did what I thought looked best with the hair color, which is like a pinkish color. like. Oh, that was on another description that she gave me. But yeah. Uh, what have you guys been doing lately? I've been on a fitness journey, kind of, sort of. Uh, I've been doing exercise every single day for the last three weeks. Uh, an hour and a half of exercise, and my legs are killing me. And I've been eating nothing but like chicken and rice and mashed potatoes and meat. And a lot of fruit. A lot of fruit. Uh, so apparently at this point in the video I decided to like stand up and do nothing. Because it stopped. I remember I was doing this particular drawing in school. 
like not in class but in school so probably started talking to someone and didn't realize and there we go restarted <laughs> um so yeah uh, I'm just adding, adding some detailing to the roses, uh, some shadows, and then I think I'm gonna go in with lights, which kind of makes them look plasticky and wet and really pretty. I really like that. Yeah, there I am. I really like that effect. I don't know why I like the plasticky effect so much, but I do it on the cheeks too. It looks pretty. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a series, so... Oh, I changed the color of her straps to the same color of her hair. I don't know if I changed it back. Um, so this is going to be a series. If you have any suggestions, you can send them over to my Instagram or my Twitter. Or No, I mean not my Twitter. <laughs> what? I don't have a art Twitter. I have like a normal Twitter, but I don't post anything. So Like, I don't post any art. I just post dumb stuff in Spanish because I'm Mexican. So her eyes are yellow, amber, like, yeah, like an amber color. That was also a debacle because I was asking her like, oh, what color are her eyes? And she was like, I don't remember. And I was like, you don't remember or you never thought about it? And she was like, I don't remember what color her eyes are. Like, I remember I thought about it, but I don't remember the color. And like, I had to wait for her for like two days to tell me. <laughs> like, not literal two days, but I had to wait for her to tell me to do the drawing. So, yeah. Um... Um, I'm, right now I'm painting her hair, the like pinkish color that she told me. I think it's a really pretty color for hair. I really want to paint my, like my, like put some rose gold highlights on my hair, but I just don't have the time to maintain like dyed hair and I don't want to, or like bleached hair and I don't want to deal with that responsibility. So I'm just going to keep my hair natural as it is because, um, I'm too lazy for that kind of stuff. Yesterday I got a henna tattoo and it's already wearing off. <laughs> Which is hilarious because uh, the person told me like it's gonna last for like two weeks and I was like, oh cool. Then I got home and my dad told me like you're stupid, those things don't come off sometimes and I was like, the person told me it would come off in two weeks. And then my dad was like, you do a lot of stupid things and I was like, yeah I do. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But he was like, he was kind of mad that I did that. And then I was like, what's the big deal? Like, I'm growing up. I was bound to do something stupid eventually. Like, I don't drink. I don't party. I'm 19 and I don't do any of those things. I just, I just got a henna tattoo because shits and giggles. I don't know. So yeah. Uh, that was it. I'm doing the background right now, and I wanted like a blue background, but I didn't want I didn't want it to like look the same as the shirt, so I put a yellow circle behind her, and then like uh, put like some gradient type stuff in there, and then that was that. Oh, I added my signature, and oh my secret signature all of my drawings have two signatures and now we're off to the second drawing uh this is actually from a person who i will link in the description oh i will link the first girl's instagram as well in the description but this person has a deviant art so i'm gonna link that where are they yeah here they are so i'm gonna read the description as they sent it uh lucy is a high level demon and kind of in her problematic anti-parent teenage face. She's mostly sarcastic and a little snobby and ungrateful. <coughs> Sorry. Overall, a pretty tough girl, but she also has a soft core. That's about it till now. Sorry for all this sounding pretty basic. I've got other characters with a little bit more thought out stories, but her, but, uh, her I can only think of some minor stuff right now, like how she adores these cat like low demons that possess small, preferably round objects like billiard balls or glass eyes. Now that I think of it, I should really work out her backstory. <laughs> and I was like, okay, pretty basic backstory, but if it's just like a character that they just created, it's pretty good. So I was like, do you have any like facts about her that I can share on a voiceover? Because I say like, because I grew up near California, so I speak like that. Thank you very much. Hmm, I don't know what would be interesting about her. She's a part of a comic I'm planning. Uh, she also loves fights, but tends to overestimate her own skills, which is why she gets into trouble quite a bit. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, um, 
you're gonna see a thing later on where uh, in the drawing he sent me uh, the skin was completely white so uh, Sorry, I spaced out for a second right there. Uh, the skin was completely white, and I was like, okay, she's a demon, it makes sense that her skin is white. So I painted her skin white, and then I got curious, and I didn't want to mistake, so I was like, hey, is your character's skin white? And they were like, no, it's, like, really pale, but she's not, like, completely white. And I was like, okay, thank you. And I had to change, I had to go back and change it. I think you can see it. Like right at the end before I finish. So yeah, that was an interesting thing. I had a lot of fun working with this post because that day, uh, like at my in my drawing class, we were looking at poses and that sort of stuff. And like I had, I had some fun working with them poses. And I gave her like orange blush because I don't care for green blush. <laughs> uh. And then we move over to our hair, which is the longest part to do, honestly, because I have a technique and I refuse to do it out of order because if I do it out of order, it looks funny. So I'm doing her green hair. Honestly, I loved her hairdo because I used to have like a similar hairdo, not as voluminous, 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 not as voluminous and like fluffy as her hair is, but like similar ish it was a pixie cut so so i really liked working with her hair because i love i used to love my short hair but my sister and my mom and all my friends insist that i don't cut it again it's about a shoulder length right now and i'm like i want to take it all off my head or shave my head i'm kidding <laughs> no i want to get it like long ish like up to my waist and then paint like the tips like dye the tips paint what the fuck like dye the tips and then like when I get bored of it or like bored of taking care of it just cut it off again like in a pixie cut uh yeah I don't know how I transitioned into talking into her so I'm doing her outfit which I had a little bit of trouble with because I always put a gray background behind my characters when I'm painting them to make sure that I don't leave any white spaces but since her pants are the same freaking gray as the background I had to make them a little bit lighter because if not I would have gotten confused and I would have been like I haven't colored in the pants but I did so it was so cool it was cool it was cool and I had to keep going back and forth between turning on and off the layers Oh, and then I painted her socks white, because why not? Everybody loves white socks, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like ultra sarcastic today, thank you very much for keeping up with me. <sighs> but yes, if you want to send me anything, just send it over. I I have uh, a, my, my DeviantArt, you can always send me a note. Uh, I will respond, unless you're creepy. <laughs> Uh, I, I, no, I'm 100% honest, I will respond because I am, I, I, I don't like it when YouTubers are like, I'm super responsive and I'm, like, in touch with my fans and they never respond to a single message that you send them. But I do respond because I am not famous and I have the time, sort of. No, I don't, I just procrastinate a lot. And here I am doing some shadows, look at me, I'm a professional, just kidding. My commissions are open, by the way, if you want to buy any. Uh, the prices are cheap-ish. <laughs> so, if you got money and you want to spend it on something or someone, you can do that. Oh, here I am changing the skin to not white because uh, the girl told me, hey, her skin's not white. And I tried to be lazy and change it with the hue and saturation tool. It ended up working kind of, but it would have been easier just to redo the skin. <laughs> But you live and you learn, you know? So here I am cutting the canvas, and here I am doing a little bit of uh, background. I tried a couple things because I didn't want to do like an overtly uh, difficult background. Uh, here I am adding the little white line that I do usually. Um, gradient background, complete background, and everything, and the video is about to finish. So thank you very much for watching. You can subscribe to all my social medias, which are down in the description. I love you all a lot. I am very grateful for the growth that my channel has gone through. Hidden signature. 
Um, please don't steal my art because I've caught someone doing it. And thank you very much for watching. I love you all. Please stay safe because World War III is about to begin. Just kidding. Stay safe. Bye-bye. I love you all.